Hey guys, today we're doing something a little bit different. One of our longtime customers, Mr. Ron Dobb, reached out to us. He asked for a planter for his garden, a three-point planter for the back of his CS tractor. Uh, and while that's not something that we stock, I was able to track down one for him from one of the manufacturers that we work with. We got a hold of a coal planter, but today we're gonna go help Ron plant his garden, show you guys what this planter is all about. If we like it, maybe we'll, uh, we'll put these things in stock. So here we go. Alrighty guys, so this is the Cole 12MX planter. Um, works with your three-point arms on your tractor. Mr. Dobb here has the CS2410 that we've hooked up to. And right away, observation number one, and this is gonna be an easy fix for us that we can do back at the shop, but observation number one is that it's a little large for the three-point arms on the back of a CS. So uh, Mr. Dobb had this hooked up for me before we got here today. Um, he mentioned there was a hammer involved, so that's never exactly what we're shooting for. But again, easy fix. Uh, you'll see here that we can, this planter, they have the your three-point hookups, they're just welded in here. So we could cut this here and cut it kind of over here, move that in and weld it up again. Uh, I think he'd be good to go. So the big thing is to keep an eye down under here, make sure your three-point arms are not rubbing against your tires. They're not going too for him for this, so we can still use it. It's just more of a convenience thing for when he's hooking it up. But a couple things with this planter on how it works. So you have both, uh, the 12MX has the seed box as well as the fertilizer. So your seed box here internally, you've got some gears and things that are gonna turn. Um, it's all fed, it's all based off of this drive wheel here moving in contact with the ground. Um, and then you've got your seed is gonna come down through here, drop into the ground. Your fertilizer drops down through this chute right in front of this disc and then that disc covers it up. So you'll see here when this drive wheel is in contact with the ground and spins and rotating that gear inside the seed box, there's a couple plates that we can put in there that have different slots, different sizes for the seeds. Ron's coming now, we're gonna see if we can figure out how these work. I think that's the one we want. Yeah, this one should be for the corn. Does it even have corn on there, or did it? No, it just has the just number. Doing some research and, uh, there on the... <clears throat> I, uh, I guess there is some information inside here, too. Should be 367. So that just sits in there, and then... And then that screws in over top. So the seed will sit down in the bottom, and then as this rotates, it grabs it, pulls it up around, and drops it right here, down through. You got some seed we want to... Yeah, we got, got some corn seed. Okay. We'll head back. Okay. See what it can do. So we'll talk soil prep here a little bit, guys, on our way back to Mr. Dobbs' garden. Uh, he has already tilled this up a number of times here this spring with his Coyote uh, three-point tiller. Um, we were actually, we were looking at doing this project here earlier this week, but we've had a good bit of rain here in the south central PA area. Um, and the ground was just wet enough that I was worried that it would it would get caught up or it would, um, it would build up on that drive wheel and it wouldn't work very well for us. So um, we've held off. It's dried up now a good bit for us. Um, like I said, the big thing there, I was, I was concerned that the, if, the, if the dirt was at all moist, 
it would build up on that drive wheel and cause it to not be able to spin. Um, so my assumption is, and we're going to find out here, is that you're really going to want to have the ground as dry as you can get it before you use one of these planters. So here, about halfway through May, today is the uh, today is the 12th, so we're almost halfway through May. Um, it's time to get this garden planted. Up in the notes hat, that's what I like to see. Do you want to do that? Make sure things are spinning the way they're supposed to. And quick guys make sure we have things calibrated and adjusted right as far as height make sure that our skid plate here in the front is not digging into the dirt we just want to have to skim across the top and then again that our drive wheel is spinning the way it's supposed to If we pull this out, <laughs> let's see where we're at here. We can come down.
hook too. some adjustments here guys um, we had our three-point lowering speed knob pretty tight it's a knob that is between your legs and I'm thinking it wasn't allowing the planner to go the whole way down between that and we definitely over tightened this guy here so we're gonna try this again what I'm running into is the seeds are getting mashed together way too low that's what I wanted to see though all right that's progress pull that up a little bit right there is where we want it so right come down a little bit further yet I think it up again we square it we're that was our issue because now we're going way too far down so let's level this out again yeah, I, 
like I say, pull that up. Pull it up a hair. I think we want to be right about, go down a smidge. If we can get it to land. Right there, I think we might be on to something. still just is not spinning okay so we just learned a very valuable lesson when we're using this coal planter this little metal piece here serves more than one purpose and the purpose that it serves is extremely important so hang on let's get this down let's say right about there Ron go ahead so there's a little notch right here which holds the plate that goes on top of this plate from spinning with the plate itself while you're driving forward. What was happening is because we didn't have that there, that piece that, that, that goes on, the cover that goes on there was rotating freely, tightening down this plate, causing this back wheel not to spin. That little notch right there is probably one of the most important parts of this entire operation. Hey, that's one of the benefits, guys, of buying from Nolts. Um, Ron came into the shop here a couple weeks ago and ask about this planner. And I said, Ron, I, we don't have anything. I, I mean, uh, on a whim, tell you what, let me look into one of our one of our suppliers and see what they have to offer. I reached out to JS Woodhouse and so asked if they had anything like this and they, they pointed me in this direction. I said, Ron, you know what? I wanna bring this thing out to you. I wanna make sure this thing works the way we want it to work before I sell it to you. Um, so Ron and I have been out here, quite honestly, this has been a little frustrating getting this thing dialed in, but we've learned a lot um, and I'm, very glad that he was able, allowed me to come out and do this before we just took his check for this thing. Because we've been able to figure out a good bit with this thing. So again, one of the benefits of buying from Nolts, guys, is, is we want to take care of you. We don't want to just sell you equipment. Um, bring that up a little bit, Ron. We're digging in on, the, on this plate. So what I'm looking at is that come up a little bit more. Right... So what I'm looking at is this plate right here. I want that to stay up above the ground. And when we go down the whole way, it's digging, it's digging down underneath. So let's say give that a give that a spin and see what we got. I think that looks come back up. Come back up. Hey, it's a trial and error process. This has been quite honestly, it's been a little frustrating, but I think that's Again, that's what we're here for. We're not gonna just sell you a piece of equipment, ship it off to you and tell you to figure out. Because here's the deal, guys. If I had told Ron, here's this planner, good luck. And he came out and he, he ran it the way we were running it there for that first little bit, we wouldn't have a single seed in the ground. Come June, July, when he's ready to start figuring out when it's time to pick corn, and he doesn't have any corn in his garden, now we're talking about financial loss with both the seed and the time that he's been doing it, but also now his family's got to go find where they're going to buy corn. Way more into it than just selling you a piece of equipment. And the dealers that are just going to sell you a piece of equipment, I hope that you don't get stuck with one of them. guys we are headed back to the shop 
hot and sweaty. Uh, we learned a lot today. Um, the uh, the coal, uh, what was that? A X12 planter. Um, it's a slick machine. It's a lot of old technology that still works very well even in today's modern world. Um, it's it's going to take some playing with to get that thing to where you want it, to where it's going to, it, it takes some messing around. So um, all in all, I, I, th I think we're going to be happy with them. Um, I'm going to leave it with Ron. Let him keep, let him keep planting his garden. He's got some peas he wants to plant yet. A couple other things that he wants to plant. Um, now that we figured out that little, that little metal plate, that was, that was key to the whole operation. We took that thing off thinking that it was not necessary. It was just acting as some sort of uh, guard to keep the seed from going where it shouldn't have gone. But in reality, it was it was keeping that cover piece from wrapping, from, from twisting with the gears and, and tightening itself down onto that bolt so tight that it wouldn't even spin. Um, so once we got that figured out, put that plate back on and and it it worked well from there it's just getting a feel for for how far down to let your your three-point arms go how far down to let the planner go um, and just keep an eye on things um, hey guys if you are interested in some equipment uh, or parts or service for equipment that you've bought give us a call 717-423-6300 again a warm hot day we learned a lot thanks for watching if you have any questions give us a call comment below We'll see you next time.